Mega Manila A sprawling mega city Home of the country's national capital region, and of the country's most industrialized provinces. Some 25 million people live here, on which, more than half is living within Metro Manila resulting, to serious traffic congestion within and the surrounding area, of the highly urbanized megalopolis. People mobility and connectivity, along with goods and services are amongst the biggest challenge in the city. In the past years, the Philippine government under the Department of Transportation, and the Department of Public Works and Highway, worked day and night to modernize its mass public transport system through its Build 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 projects. Among of these, is the Metro Rail Transit 7 or MRT Line 7. A rail and road project, located in northern Metro Manila and Bulacan. This $1.5 billion project has three major components, a 22.8-kilometer mass rail transit system starting from North Avenue Common Station to San Jose del Monte Bulacan a world-class intermodal transportation terminal, that will serve as a transportation hub catering to other types of public transportation. And a 19-kilometer highway from San Jose del Monte to Bocao y Bulacan. Its mass rail transit system has 14 stations, from North Avenue going to Quezon Memorial Circle, University Avenue, Tondong Sora, Don Antonio, Batasan, Mongahan, Doña Carmen, Regalado, Mindanao Avenue, Quirino, Sacred Heart, Tala, and ending up to San Jose del Monte. The line will be operated with 108 rail cars in a three-car configuration or 36 train sets, and will be able to carry 28,000 to 36,000 passengers in an hour per direction. It can accommodate 300,000 passengers daily on its first year of operation and up to 850,000 passengers once it will be fully operational. Once completed, the 22-kilometer railway will link North Avenue, Quezon City and San Jose del Monte Bulacan, reducing travel time from the present 2 to 3 hours to just 35 minutes. Constructing of this modern mass transport system, also involves putting up electric power system, computer and communication system, signaling system and automatic fare system among others. EMU train set will be supplied by Hyundai Rotom Company, a member of Hyundai Motor Group of South Korea. EMU was manufactured to adopt the weather condition of the Philippines. Car body materials uses aluminum and stainless, obtaining high-quality train cars while optimizing efficient rolling stock design, system engineering and operation and maintenance, suitable to the need of the train system. These will maximize operational efficiency and cost-effectiveness over the life cycle of the vehicles. The trains are quite spacious and are skinned to the trains that are currently being used in South Korea's modern railway system. As of December last year, 18 train cars or 6 brand new Hyundai Rotom train sets mounted along the tracks of the MRT-7 station in Quezon City. MRT Line 7 technical parameter, will be electrified with 750 volt direct current, third rail system. This double rail track uses the 1435 mm standard gauge. The line is composed of 13.5 km of elevated section, 6.9 km at grade section and 1.9 km underground section. The MRT-7 project is an integrated transit system undertaken and fully funded by San Miguel Corporation, under a build gradual transfer operate, maintained and managed or BGTOM scheme under the BOT law, with a concession period of 25 years. The unsolicited proposal for the MRT-7 was first submitted to then, the Department of Transportation and Communication on 27 August 2001. The project agreement was signed on June 18, 2008 between the Department of Transportation and its private sector partner, the Universal LRT Corporation or BBI Limited, which was partially acquired by San Miguel Corporation in 2010. Full ownership took place in 2016. 
construction of the MRT-7 by San Miguel commenced in August in the same year. Despite of delays of the deliveries of right-of-ways and relocation of utilities the MRT is now at 62% complete with construction gathering phase amid the COVID-19 pandemic. San Miguel will begin its test run by the second quarter this year and partial operation before the year ends. It took nearly 20 years from the submission of the unsolicited proposal for the Metro Rail Transit Line 7 before its actual construction. However, as of June 2016, not a single post has been built, and not a single train has even been ordered or started production. Actual construction of the project only began in August 2016 during the current administration. Now, after two decades, in partnership with the San Miguel Group, construction of the MRT-7 is in full swing, and delivery of brand new trains from South Korea is already ongoing. The MRT project will provide the public with a fast, efficient, convenient, safe, and reliable transportation system that will result in increased activity for businesses in Metro Manila and nearby provinces. An efficient means to move people, MRT-7 signifies a turning point to resolve and to promote inclusivity across our cities. It's a vehicle for opportunities, equity, and better quality of life for Filipinos.